This mass suicide victims adhere to the Mayan calendar, which predicts the end of time to occur on the 21st of December of 2012. I thought we'd have more time. In 2012, Los Angeles gets ravaged by earthquakes. 10.5 earthquakes, so that's really the earthquake that ends all earthquakes. John Cusack raises to get his two kids and his ex-wife and her new boyfriend out of Los Angeles. We gotta get to the Santa Monica airport! One of the first things that we figured out was we have to approach it in a completely different way. You cannot shoot a scene for real where we're driving with a limousine through Los Angeles as it is crumbling down in a 10.5 earthquake. All of this has to be created. There's no way we can actually just shoot Wiltshire Boulevard. We actually have to create Wiltshire Boulevard from scratch. We build whole environments, you know, like the streets of LA, totally in the computer. The only thing that's real in there is our actors inside the limousine. Now that's a huge, huge challenge. Hurry up! Look behind you! There's actually a science to creating an earthquake. Everything has to move in the earthquake. Every palm tree, every mailbox, every car, every building. Ron was always very adamant about the look of the earthquake. It has to go until... The entire ground was supposed to behave like ocean waves, but do that to a street, to everything that's on the street. Shelves of ground are ripping open and falling down, and, and the entire landscape is moving. We can pretty much now, in, in CG technology, destroy any building, any landscape you want. Get us out of here. The uh, destruction of Los Angeles was the most difficult sequence in the movie. What you have in the end is a fully computer-generated piece of movie. There's no film so far that has done anything like this. It's so big that the people will say, oh my god, how did they do it? Guys, look.